नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर जय आर अनम आई एम अ मुंबई बेस्ड ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एंड ब्रेस्ट ऑन्कोप्लास्टी सर्जन सो ब्रेस्ट कैंसर इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कैंसर अफेक्टिंग द लेडीज वर्ल्ड ओवर वर्ल्ड ओवर द पैटर्न दैट वी सी इज दैट लेडीज हु आर मोर देन फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज आर मोर कॉमनली अफेक्टेड बाई ब्रेस्ट कैंसर बट इन इंडिया वी फाइंड अ यूनिक प्रॉब्लम we have around 50% of our ladies who are less than 50 years of age and who have got breast cancer we are seeing many ladies in their late 20s and 30s affected by breast cancer now if you consider the lifestyle of a modern indian lady where the age of marriage has been pushed ahead earlier ladies used to get married by say early 20s but now many ladies are getting married at say after 25 years of age hence the motherhood is also pushed behind so the uh, problem that i face is many times i have a lady a young lady say 30 years old who has recently been diagnosed with breast cancer and she's desirous of parenthood also so this is a unique problem so i thought instead of me answering those queries let me get an expert so today i have with me dr aditi trivedi she is a gynecologist and obstetrician par excellence she has got special interest in infertility treatment she is attached to multiple hospitals in mumbai and she has her own setup uh, in ghatkopar mumbai by the name of dr Trivedi is total woman health care. So hi Aditi, uh, thanks for being here. Thank you, Dr. Jay, for having me here. It is a very very important topic because there is very lack of awareness among women about fertility preservation, especially when a woman at the age of say thirty is being told that she is suffering from breast cancer. Already she is in a state of emotional shock. further if nobody gives her any guidance about fertility preservation and post treatment she comes to know that she won't be able to conceive with her own eggs or may be having difficulty in conceiving because her egg reserve has been depleted due to chemotherapy it is extremely emotionally for the breakdown for her so it is uh, the most important question here is whether fertility preservation is possible for women undergoing breast cancer therapy so the answer to that is yes and when it should be done so whenever you are starting any breast cancer therapy most of them are treated with chemotherapeutic agents like cyclophosphamide or alkylating agents which are extremely gonadotoxic so they will deplete the egg reserve jo beech dene ki shamta rehti hai females ki usko ekdam kam kar dalta hai jisse aage ja ke when she wants to try to conceive naturally it may be extremely difficult for her to conceive naturally so whenever a woman is undergoing any breast cancer treatment it is very important for the onco surgeon or an oncologist to refer her to an infertility specialist to consider the option of fertility preservation okay right uh, so you have answered my first question that uh, does breast cancer treatment affect fertility potential and how it can be prevented so yes for the clarification on that yes so whenever patient is undergoing any chemotherapy treatment it is important to plan fertility preservation prior to that so what we do is that we it just requires two weeks time wherein we have to give injections which are called as gonadotropin injections which helps in development of the eggs now this eggs are then harvested under anesthesia if the female is already married we can fertilize those eggs with the husband's sperm and freeze the embryos and if the female is unmarried we can freeze the eggs as well and which can be later on fertilized whenever she desires a pregnancy uh, with her future partner so that's a very important point ke agar aapko cancer ka diagnosis hai to bhaiya aap ghai ghai mat kijiye itna jaldi mein nahi hona chahiye ke chalo fatafat chemotherapy chada do chalo fatafat operation kar do you know 15 din mein कुछ कैंसर स्प्रेड नहीं होने वाला है पंद्रह दिन में कुछ डिले नहीं होने वाला है बट वी शुड हैव अ परफेक्ट प्लान कि हम क्या करने वाले हैं हमको अगर बच्चा चाहिए तो फ्यूचर में तो कैसे करना है क्या करना है थैंक्स अलॉट अदिति फॉर दैट क्लैरिफिकेशन मेरा भी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है कि ये फर्टिलिटी प्रिजर्वेशन हम कैसे कर सकते हैं 
और क्या ये ब्रेस्ट कैंसर के पेशेंट में फर्टिलिटी प्रिजर्वेशन करने का कोई अलग उपाय है अलग मेथड है सी फर्टिलिटी प्रिजर्वेशन वेदर इट बी एग फ्रीजिंग और एम्ब्रियो फ्रीजिंग द प्रोसेस रिमेन्स द सेम वेदर अ कैंसर पेशेंट और अ नॉन कैंसर पेशेंट द ओनली प्रॉब्लम विच वी फेस इन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर पेशेंट is obviously the patient is also in a hurry as well as as well as the oncopath or oncologist and the onco surgeon are also in a hurry to start the chemotherapy treatment so in such patients usually we start the gonadotropin stimulation cycle usually from day 2 of periods but suppose the patient comes to us in mid cycle and she has just been diagnosed with breast cancer say 2 2 to 3 days back so what we use here is something called as a random start protocol where in whichever side day of cycle the patient is coming we can start stimulation we monitor the patient as many eggs we can get which is ideally we are targeting around 12 to 13 eggs in a normal responder patient and then after that we can retrieve those eggs it takes just two weeks this entire process post which the patient can undergo chemotherapy right so the next question that that my patient had personally asked me was that doc, doctor sahab hum ye jo hormonal stimulation kar rahe hai kya isse breast cancer flare up ho sakta hai that's a very very good question see now this gonadotropins are nothing but this are normal hormones which are usually secreted in your body every month for a one egg development single egg development in ivf we want to retrieve more number of eggs so we give the same gonadotropins in a higher dose now in breast cancer patient wherein there can be an estrogen receptor positive uh, pathology in which we don't want a very very high estrogen levels right so jab bhi itne sare eggs bante hai there are chances ki estrogen levels ekdam zyada bad jaye so to prevent that we may use certain adjuvant treatment like aromatase inhibitors mm -hmm. like letrozole or tamoxifen jisse estrogen levels ekdam zyada nahi badhta hai and we do something called as a control ovarian stimulation we prevent hyper stimulation ek sath bahut eggs nahi banne chahiye which can create complication for her and so, it is done under proper monitoring mm -hmm. which can prevent a complication and it will definitely not flare up her breast cancer to yahi farak hota hai ke patient tailored treatment is a big possibility over here if if you go to an expert uh, one cover fits all books is not correct so coming to next question i find many young ladies who have some genetic mutation and due to which they have got cancer there is a high chance that her, that her offsprings her children can also get this type of breast cancer like say braca mutation is there a way by which we can prevent this transfer of braca gene from one generation to other absolutely it's a very very important uh, question which you have asked me and the patients have to be aware about this that braca gene which can be genetically transferred to the offspring it can be prevented by pre implantation genetic diagnosis so in which what we do is jo bhi humne embryos banaye hai freeze kiye hai aur jo bhi eggs freeze kiye hai jo later on hum log usko fertilize karke embryos banayenge uska hum log genetic testing karte hai the testing we do particularly for the braca gene mm -hmm. and whichever embryos are free from those genetic abnormality only those embryos are transferred into the mother's womb so the offspring would be free of this any genetic abnormality and would be prevented for getting cancer at an earlier age excellent so that's very important uh next question mera ye rahega ki ye jo eggs hote hai wo hum kitne saalon tak freeze karke rakh sakte hai so there is no any particular duration you can preserve it for lifetime but according to the new art law which is the law of our land in india we can freeze gametes for up to 10 years gametes that means we can freeze eggs and sperm for up to 10 years but in special cases like cancer patients they have allowed freezing of the gametes for more than 10 years with special permission from the national board so it can be preserved as long as you want excellent coming forward to the next question uh, not only breast cancer but we find many young girls young ladies with say, as young as 20 years old with cancer diagnosis of say lymphoma where once again chemotherapy is a must kya yeah. इन महिलाओं की भी मदद इन आईवीएफ मेथड से हो सकती है यस एब्सोल्युटली सो नाउ साइंस हैज एडवांस सो मच नाउ मेनी मेनी यंग गर्ल्स 
जिनको पीरियड्स भी चालू नहीं हुए हैव नॉट अचीव द मैना की दोज हैव नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड द सेक्शुअल एक्टिविटी इन फीमेल्स में जब भी कैंसर डिटेक्ट होता है तो हाउ वी कैन डू एक्स प्रिजर्वेशन सो द मेथड योर इज समथिंग कॉल एज ओवेर इन टिश्यू क्रायो प्रिजर्वेशन वेर इन दूरबिन से लेप्रोस्कोपिकली ओवेर इन टिश्यू जो रहता है वो लेके वी कैन प्रिजर्व इट बाई अ स्लो फ्रीजिंग मेथड एंड लेटर ऑन वंस हर ट्रीटमेंट इज फिनिश्ड वंस शी इज फ्री ऑफ कैंसर वी कैन डिपॉजिट बैक द ओवेर इन टिश्यू बैक इन टू हर बॉडी शी कैन रिज्यूम हर नॉर्मल मैंस्टुएशन एंड लेटर ऑन इवन कंसीव नेचुरली विथ हर ओन एग्स तो दिस इज समथिंग कॉल एज ओवेर इन टिश्यू क्रायो प्रिजर्वेशन विच इज एडवाइजेबल फॉर प्री प्यूबॉटल गर्ल्स और यंग गर्ल्स इन विच दे हैव नॉट रिज्यूम द मैं सेक्शुअल एक्टिविटी तो डॉक्टर अदिति द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई एम रूटीनली आज दिस सर हाउ सून आफ्टर माई ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट इज ओवर कैन आई गो हेड विथ आई वी एफ द एग्स विच आई हैव फ्रीज और द एम्ब्रियोज विच आई हैव फ्रीज हाउ सून कैन आई गो हेड विथ इट so whenever the medical oncologist gives them a go ahead that okay she is free from uh, cancer it's safe for her to undergo uh, embryo transfer at that time she can visit her fertility specialist as a fertility specialist we just have to prepare her lining and once her endometrium is ideal we transfer the embryos and she can get pregnant sure so that's good enough uh then can these ladies breastfeed also once they are pregnant absolutely and... it is absolutely safe for the mother mm-hmm. who has a prior history of breast cancer to feed their offspring okay and uh, just uh, you have used two words over here egg freezing and embryo freezing so what do these words mean and which one is better see egg freezing is usually done in young females who are not married who are not having a stable partner so wherein we just retrieve those eggs and freeze those eggs later on whenever she gets married whoever the partner is we take that partner's semen sample and we fertilize these eggs with that sperm sample in married females it would be ideal for them to freeze the embryos rather than the egg because the egg has a lot of water content which during the process of freezing can cause a little damage to the egg whereas the embryos compared to the eggs have a less water content so the survival is better so when we bring them back to the normal room temperature of the process is called as thawing the survival of the embryos is much better than those of eggs so in married females we would prefer embryo freezing in young females who are not married at least for fertility preservation it would be better to freeze the eggs and then later on fertilize them with the future partner's sperm sample okay ma'am so the final question hai ki madam iska kharcha kitna hota hai the cost of the treatment would depend upon the dosage of the gonadotropins which would be required which again depends upon the age of the patient and her egg reserve so usually this treatment costs around 1.5 to 3 lakhs and sometimes in some clinics they also will be charging you for your storage charges so as long as you store the gametes there will be a annual storage charges which will be charged by a fertility clinic एक्सीलेंट आई थिंक सो आप लोगों के बहुत सारे डाउट्स आज क्लियर हुए हैं अगर आपको और भी कुछ डाउट्स है कुछ क्वेश्चन है तो आप नीचे दिए गए कॉमेंट सेक्शन में लिख सकते हैं मैं या मेरी टीम आपको जरूर संपर्क करेंगे थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू डॉक्टर थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर जय